Israel Hamas conflict live updates. Americans held hostage. Biden condemns sheer evil of Hamas attack. This is CNBC's live blog covering the latest developments in the Israel Hamas conflict. Read on for the most recent updates. Hamas launches missiles at Ashkelon in response to civilian displacement. The Al Qassam armed wing of Hamas, a Palestinian militant group, has launched hundreds of missiles at the southern Israeli city of Ashkelon, citing this attack as a response to the displacement of civilians. This move comes shortly after the Al Qassam's 5 p.m. Local time deadline for Ashkelon citizens to evacuate the area had passed. This marks the fourth day of the ongoing deadly conflict between Hamas and the Israeli administration. Israel regains control of Gaza-Israel border after surprise Hamas attack. Earlier on Tuesday, Israel's military announced that it had regained control of the Gaza-Israel border following a surprise attack by Hamas on southern Israel, unprecedented in scale and deadliness. Israel continues its airstrikes throughout the enclosed territory of Gaza and has ordered the complete cessation of water, electricity, and food supply to the already impoverished and blockaded population of approximately 2.3 million people. Hamas holds Israeli and foreign hostages. Hamas, the governing authority in the Gaza Strip, has claimed to have taken around 150 Israeli hostages. The United States and other governments are actively working to determine the number of foreign nationals held captive by Hamas. Rising death toll and injuries. The death toll from the ongoing violence between Israel and Hamas has now surpassed 1,800 individuals. This includes over 1,000 killed and 2,700 injured in Israel, and at least 830 people killed and 4,250 injured in Gaza, according to reports from Palestinian and Israeli health services. White House. Iran's role in Israel attacks. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan stated on Tuesday that Iran is complicit in Hamas' attack on Israel. However, there is no direct evidence linking Tehran to the weekend's violence. Sullivan noted, We've said since the beginning that Iran is complicit in a broad sense because they have provided the lion's share of the funding for the military wing of Hamas. They've provided training, they have provided capabilities, they have provided support and they've had engagement and contact with Hamas over years and years. And all of that has played a role in contributing to what we have seen. Now, as to the question of whether Iran knew about this attack in advance or helped plan or direct this attack, we do not, as of the moment I'm standing here at the podium, have confirmation of that. Biden emphasizes the importance of adhering to the laws of war. President Joe Biden has stressed the significance of upholding the laws of war as Israel responds with overwhelming force to Hamas devastating terrorist attack targeting civilians. He assured Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the U.S. Response would be swift, decisive, and overwhelming if the American people faced terrorism similar to what Israel has experienced in recent days. Biden condemned Hamas' deliberate targeting of civilians as pure, unadulterated evil. He emphasized that democracies are stronger and more secure when they act in accordance with the rule of law. Terrorists purposely target civilians, kill them. We uphold the laws of war. It matters, there's a difference, Biden stated in a televised address. The ongoing conflict has resulted in over 1,000 Israeli casualties due to Hamas attacks on towns bordering the Gaza Strip, while at least 830 Palestinians have been killed in Israel's retaliatory strikes. Israel has imposed a complete siege on Gaza, cutting off electricity, food, and fuel to the densely populated, impoverished enclave. Sullivan discusses identifying Hamas terrorists. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan has informed reporters that Israel does not intend to launch a total siege on Gaza. Instead, President Biden and Prime Minister Netanyahu have discussed methods for distinguishing between Hamas terrorists and innocent civilians. We are consulting with the Israeli government about their actions in this regard, Sullivan noted. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.